Whiskey Yankee straight into Bravo Taxiway and uh, to 1183 uh, in holding. For over a decade, Kavu's founders conducted low-level aerial surveys throughout the Americas, documenting environmental and cultural patterns. These overflights provided passengers with an objectivity otherwise impossible from a sea-level perspective. They also provided the backdrop for the Kavu of today. And it was through these overflights, some with conservationists, geologists, and anthropologists, others with government officials, members of the media, and local indigenous leaders, that the importance of documenting the subjective viewpoints of these passengers became paramount, and Kavu was born. Those condos back there, they're probably going to have sand in their lower floors in five to ten years at the rate they're eroding. But someone built the house here anyway. I don't quite understand that. <laughs> Nearly a decade ago, the World Bank surveyed thousands of the world's poorest inhabitants to determine poverty's greatest barrier. It wasn't a lack of food or shelter, education or health care. It was access to a voice. Through documentary filmmaking, Kavu can effectively help in providing that voice. And through its full-time access to aircraft specially modified for high-load, rough fieldwork, even the most fragmented, remote, or inaccessible cultures and environments have a platform. Endangered jaguars and harpy eagles in Panama. One of the last vestiges of prehistoric times, the sea turtles. Panama's indigenous embera and their precious disappearing old growth trees and the compromised watersheds of Honduras and El Salvador and those who depend on them. Cavu as a filmmaking company is very unique. It's very unique. While the goal to educate people around issues of natural resources is a common one in the documentary film world, I don't think there are very many companies who are doing it as, as, as efficiently or as nimbly as Kavu does. We are good to go into the Amazon, we're good to go down to Chile. I mean, that plane will take us all over Latin America. And this, I think, is due in part to the fact that they have access to rugged bush aircraft and also to the fact that they have some really top-notch strategic alliances. And these two factors really help contribute to Kavu as being a real force in the documentary film world. This morning we had some great weather. We were ready to go to Darien. And then literally out of nowhere, thunderstorms. So that's kind yeah, of the nature right of working here. in Panama. Check it out right here. How are you there doing? Is. I'd love to fly down to Darien right now because we got a clear shot right down the coast. And we just hope it holds for tomorrow. Each Kavu film project must meet an established criteria before being considered for production. It must first be relevant to the mission of educating and engaging stakeholders about management and the importance of natural resources. It must also benefit particularly from Kavu's unique ability to utilize the tool of flight, both in its use for filming and as a tool for transportation where other means would prove cost and time prohibitive. Last, each project must have relevance at the local level. Public screenings throughout communities where filming has taken place, as well as in communities facing similar issues, are an implicit part of the film release process. The screenings allow people to come together and share in a common struggle. And for the subjects of these films, community leaders, farmers, local government officials, women and children, there is no better inspiration than the knowledge that they not only have access to a voice, but also to an audience. Ahí va la vida mía, ahí va mi corazón.